Yeah, I think that this was, uh, again, one of the key abstracts uh, presented at the meeting. This is based on a lot of data with uh, with the Novartis uh, Tizagenolic Lucil product that had been used uh, before it became Tizagenolic Lucil when it was uh, when Steve uh, Schuster did it at, uh, at UPenn, and he's published in uh, long-term data showing uh, responses in patients with endolymphoma or follicular lymphoma. And our group as well in Seattle has um, uh, shown uh, data with uh, long-term complete remissions and uh, very low risk of relapse in patients with follicular lymphoma. And we'll, we'll talk about the, uh, the AxiCell data as well, but uh, Novartis did a, a, a clinical trial and they showed very high uh, complete remission rates. Again, very uh, well uh, tolerated. Uh, uh, patients uh, receiving the Tizogen Oclusal, which is a 4-1-DP containing CAR, uh, had, uh, were able to be treated in the outpatient setting in some, in some situations. Um, and so I think that this was just another example of uh, durable, uh, complete remission rates uh, and with early data so far in, uh, in, in this follicular lymphoma. So it's just, this is just a building on uh, what we've seen in the preclinical studies and the early clinical studies. And now we're starting to see with these uh, commercial agents and uh, hopefully this will lead to an approval in that setting.